Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create this beautiful credit rating score meter chart in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this credit rating score chart. And here we are taking two input. One is the current value. Another one is the maximum value. You can change these input as per your requirement. For example, I want to take the current value as 600 only then you can see this chart is getting changed and it's fully dynamic if i put here 800 currently we have taken the maximum value as the 900 you can use this for the multiple purpose means you can change it let's say maximum value as 100 and you can put here the current value let's say 80 then it will work perfectly okay you can take here 40 or 50 whatever you want accordingly it will give you the result you can change this text credit rating score this is the fixed text you can change it here and you can use for the other purpose like for service level quality score or any other kpi whatever you want all right so now i'm putting here let's say 900 and current value triple seven so it will look like this all right friends now i will tell you from the scratch how you can create this in microsoft excel so let's add a new blank workbook this is book 2 and we will take two input one is current value another one is maximum value so let's say i'm taking the current value as 800 and a maximum value i'm giving here 900 let's go to the view and remove the grid lines from here so now we will quickly format this go to the home select these two and let's fill here some darker color let's say this green color and font take white and here we can fill some lighter color let's say this light green color this one and make this bold okay now we will create the name for the current value click on this current value go to the formula click on name manager and click on new okay so it is automatically taking the current underscore value otherwise you can type here the name and click on ok close this and similarly for this one also we can use the shortcut key also alt m n n so this is taking the max value click on ok all right so we have created both of the name now here we will put the formula max value this one multiply by one plus 1 upon 6 okay and we will minus from this number this current value and just hit the enter so we are getting this value here and then we will put another formula here and that will be max value multiply in bracket just put 1 plus 1 upon 6 okay now whatever value we will get here we will divide this value by 6 so in bracket divide by 6 and we will fill this down 6 times ok so this is done now we will select this support column we will go to the insert and we will insert a donor chart this one go to the chart element and remove the legend and the chart title from here ok we can make it slightly smaller like this right click on this go to the format data series angle of first slice we will put here 30 and enter now we will quickly change the border size so just select go to the format and shape outline go to the bait and let's take around 4.5 this one and select this bottom slice double click here go to the shape fill and say no fill then double click on the first slice this one and we will fill here dark red color this one double click here also and we will fill here this color and here we will take this mustard color and double click here and let's take the light green color this one and here we will take the dark green color so we can take this color all right so this is done now we will create the labels here like very poor, poor, 
fair, good and excellent. So we will quickly go to the insert and insert a text box from here. And let, let's drag that text box here and use here very poor in capital. Select this text box, align this center, center, make this bold. And we will go to the save format and we will go to the text effects. And from here, we'll go to the transform and we'll select this follow path. And we will rotate this using this rotate handle. And let's keep this here like this and align it properly. Now we will make the duplicate of this press control D. And let's keep this here and rotate slightly like this. We will change the text of this. All right. So similarly, we will add the other labels also. So I'm quickly adding those other labels also. All right. So we have added all the labels. Now right click on the chart, go to the select data and add a new series and take the series name as current value and the series value select this range from F1 to G1. Click on OK and OK. Right click on the chart, go to the change series chart type. Now here in this window for the current value, we will select the pie chart. Click on OK. Now click on the pie chart, go to the format and take the shape outline as no outline. Double click on this blue slice, which is the 800 as current value. Then this format data point window will be open. Go to the fill and line and say no fill here. Double click on this orange slice and say solid fill and we will fill here white color this one. And we will put the 15 10% of the transparency. All right. Click again on the pie and right click go to the format data point. And the angle of first slice, we will take 210 degree and just hit the enter. All right. Now, if I change the value here, let's say 200, then you can see it is getting changed. Now, quickly, we will add the other data labels also. So select the chart, go to the insert, insert a text box from here and drag the text box here. Just click on the outline of the text box and go to the formula bar, press equal to and we will show here the current value. So select the current value and hit the enter. Now align this center and center and change the font size as Arial rounded empty bold and hit the enter. Font size take around 40 or 50. So I'm taking here 50. Let's keep this here. Okay, now we will insert another text box. Go to the insert, insert a text box here. And just type here credit rating score or any other thing, whichever you want. If you are creating it for service label purpose, for quality score, you, you can put the text here accordingly. Make this bold. Now make the duplicate of this, press control D and just put that here. We will go to the cell G2 and we will put here a formula and in the formula put in inverted comma out of space and use the text function of max value in zero format. Okay, so it will show out of 900 or if you put here 100 then out of 100. So select this text box, second text box, the outline of this, go to the formula bar, press equal to and connect with this cell and hit the enter. Make this bold and slightly bigger. All right, so our chart is ready. Friends, that is how you can create this chart. If you put here, let's say 450, then it will come in the center and everything is appearing here. So this is fully dynamic. Now you can select this cell and make the font as white color. So it will not be visible. All right, friends. So friends, that is how you can create credit rating score meter in Microsoft Excel. You can use it for your dashboard or your presentation purpose. 
फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू हैव इन्जॉय दिस वीडियो इफ़ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज़ हिट द लाइक बटन एंड प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू गेट द रेगुलर अपडेट ऑफ माई वीडियोज़ थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग